want to do, right? Good play happens, bad play happens. We're just going to keep getting up. Toughness over and over and over again and keep getting up is freaking deflating to opponent. And that's what we've done all year. That's what we've done all year. We've gotten up. We've moved on. We've pressed on over and over and over again this entire year through a lot of different circumstances. Injuries, things going on in our personal life, wins and losses, over and over and over again, this team has got up. Why? Why? Because we're nasty. We're grimy. We're gritty. We got all those things in our DNA. We march our way toward kickoff before a young quarterback takes on the GOAT. Extra men on the rush. Eagles pick it up. Hurts throws and it's picked. Interception in the third. Turnover by the Eagles in this game. Second straight time the Bucs have started inside Eagles territory. Brady, Evans, is in for the touchdown with a flare to make it 31 to nothing. Here's Devontae Smith. They get it to him on the outside, and he shows what he can do. And he breaks loose. Scott is gone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. And they're on the board. Just like that, two plays later, they're in the end zone. On third down, Hurts throws. Gainwell. First down plus and in for the touchdown. And that throws, it is caught by Devontae Smith. Onside kick, and that was easy. You know, it's never easy when you are a playoff team and you don't win a playoff game. But for a Philadelphia team that was counted out early, they won enough games, got in. I mean, this is pretty deflating. I mean, there's not a lot of things to feel great about, but I do think the organization understands that they've still got a lot of work to do. I didn't do my job good enough. I could have been better, definitely, and I take accountability for my actions, but man, you never waste a mistake. And I do a pretty good job of trying not to do that, and I'll definitely take it as a lesson. And my third year starts tomorrow. Breaks my heart. I mean, you see my QB to you know, solely take responsibility and, and say that it's on him, it's not. It's on me. You now I messed up as well. We all need to be better. Now, this this obviously hurts. We wanted our season to continue on into the Super Bowl. That's what we play this game for. But uh, there's a lot of positives to take away from this season. You know, we were at a point where we were two and five, but that's credit to the players that we have here who said that man, like our season isn't going to go this way. We're going to turn it around. That's what we did, and allowed us to be in the position that we were in today. It's unfortunate that we, we lost, but there's a lot that you can hang your head on and, and walk away from this game with, uh, with your head held high. I'm on my way back. Yeah, I'm on my way back. Yes, I'm coming home. Yeah, I'm coming home. Nowhere left to roam. Good morning, Howie and Coach. Appreciate you guys taking the time today. Thanks, Allie. Thanks, Allie. With three first-round picks, how can that change your strategy towards uh, positional value um, coming into this draft? Yeah, I think for, for us, what we're doing right now is we're evaluating our team and we're continuing to figure out ways to build. You know, we're not happy about the fact that, you know, our season ended um, in the playoffs. We want to build a team that has home playoff games, gets to play in front of our fan base, um, you know, really build a team that gets a buy. So um, those opportunities, those assets that you talk about allow us to continue to build, um, really helps us add good players to this team. Uh, our job is to look at, at everything, to evaluate every position, every player. We do that not only for right now in this moment, but we also do it so we have information when players become available at any position. We have a philosophy on how to build this team, you know, a philosophy that we think has, has been um, successful. And we don't go into a draft saying we're not gonna do something. Um, I think for us, it's all about the skill set of that particular player, the football character of that player, and 
um, as we get more heavy into this draft and, and sitting down and having a lot of conversation with our coaching staff, we'll discuss all that stuff. The 2022 Eagles, how do you want them to be different from the 2021 Eagles next year? Yeah, I mean, I think you not, you never want to put yourself in a hole, right, and where you're two and five to start things off. So I think what's important and, what, and where I'm happy with this team is that it, this team did get a little bit better each week. Um, where we were playing our better football later in the year. So getting off to a good start, you know, not just being 1-0, and but getting off to that good start in that first quarter of the season, I think is really important. Then we can do what our goals are is to win the division and to get a home playoff game to make some noise there. Um, you know, just really proud of our coaches and our players and really the whole building sticking together. Um, obviously, during a season, you're going to have adversity. Um, we knew this season uh, was going to be some highs and some lows. I think we felt that during training camp that we were kind of trying to figure out our identity, our personnel, um, and Coach did an amazing job with that. So really proud of him and his staff. I think that um, certainly not satisfied with where we are. We know we, there's a lot of work to do. Um, and we started that. We started that during the season uh, by resigning our own free agents, which is a huge part of free agency is to keep your own players. Uh, and we did that to kind of get a head start and a kick start into the season. But there's a lot of work to be done and, and excited about the opportunity ahead.